Hey everybody, Ace Trainer Liam here, and welcome to the latest episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Quadlock 2. We're just about to head into this cave, which is Union Cave, on our merry little journey. At least we can actually see in Union Cave. We'll be able to catch a Pokemon in here. In fact, we'll be able to catch two Pokemon in here because we just acquired a fishing rod. Um, let's go with... The question of the day is, what, where is your favourite place to fish in the Pokemon world? For me, I like fishing off the coast of Azure Bay in uh, Pokemon X and Y. There's some very nice Pokemon in that area. Where are my key items? I want to register my rod, if you know what I mean. There you go. Now, what button is it registered to? To the Z button, of course. Not even a nibble. Fantastic. Right, let's let's explore. Oh my god, I remember this cave from when I first played Soul Silver. Well, when I first played it on my channel, and I swear there was a guy in here that had a gibble with Dragon Rage, and I, I cried nearly. Azumarill is so eligible. That's beautiful. Okay, in that case, let's give it a rock smash. Don't kill it. It used tackle. It's going to get buffeted, so I need to catch it pretty quick. Alright, this is this is a good start. Pokeball. We have nine of those. Okay. Is it going to go in? Come on. Oh, that was cheeky. Come on. All right, all right. I know when I'm, I know when I'm bested. One Pokeball. Come on. Oh, come on! You were you were nearly in before. Okay, defense curl. Throw a ball. Come on. Oh, you're making me mad. Super effective water gun did nothing. Yay! We got a Zoomeril. Thank crikey. When it plays in water, it rolls up its elongated ears to prevent their insides from getting wet. The Aqua Rabbit. Uh, what are we going to call you? What should we call this Azumarill? Let's call him... Let's call him... Long... John. Long John. Wait, not with two N's. I'm not that sassy. There you go, Long John. Thank you for joining the party. Much appreciated. Let's head on up this way. Oh, there's a little fire breather guy. Ooh, Gligar. How you doing? Get wrecked, Gligar. Really quickly, please. Oh, actually, that wasn't bad. There you go. Thank you, Gligar. He wants to fight. What's he going to do? If there's light, a cave isn't scary. If you're strong, Pokemon aren't scary. Alright, mate. Ooh, he does have an Elekid, though. Which could have static, so we've got to be careful. He's leering. We're tackling. He's dead. Good job. I think once Vegeta's level 14, I'm going to switch her out the front of the party, but let's have a gander. Hey, Union Cave. You're really cool and stuff. And a sky plate was hidden there. That's cool. Oh, I'm so close to this item, dude. Oh, a little Meowth. I always think Meowth's kind of an underrated Pokemon. Like, people don't talk about it as much as they should. Even though it's, like, so prominent in a lot of Pokemon's advertising. And it's pretty dead. There you go, 78 experience. Oh, so close. Oh, come on. What's this about? Ooh, it's a Nuzleaf. Okay, Nuzleaf, it's time to get hurt. There's the Rock Smash. And... Da -da -da -da, down in one hit. Easy peasy. Oh, look, Vegina. I can move you out the front of the party now. Okay, it's time place for everything. Wow, we got the TM for Thunder. Oh my god, who, who can learn Thunder? I wonder what TM01 was supposed to be in, in Gen 4. TMs. Thunder. 
Who's going to learn Thunder? Hitmon Liam can learn it. But I don't want him to learn a special attack because he's a physical attacker. So we'll, we'll keep Thunder on standby. And we need to switch our Pokemon around. So let's go Pokemon. Fagina is going to switch. Actually, you're going to switch with uh, Hitmon Liam because he's not even level 14 and everyone else is. What's that about? Okay, what, what Pokemon is this? Oh, Rhyhorn. You'll go down. There you go. Yay, now he's level 13. He wants to learn Jump Kick. Is Jump Kick like Hydro? User jumps up, strikes the kick. If it misses, it hurts itself. What's its power? Uh, Oh, its power is 100. I mean, it's got 95 accuracy. Revenge could be powered up. To 120. So we'll keep revenge. We'll get rid of double kick. Get rid of double kick. Yeah. I like how we've got so many fighting type moves on the same Pokemon. Because I just can't decide what to put on my Hitmonlee. Oh, let's try out that jump kick we just learned. Oh, and he's life orbed as well, remember. So down goes Meowth. That was easy. Oh my god. Can I just... Oh, hey Flygon. Jump kick. Hitmon Liam's going to be unstoppable. Look at that. Right. There we go. Thank you for the... Oh, just to repel. Oh, I suppose it's money to be spent. Okay, now let's go the proper way through Union Cave. There's a hiker that we're about to fight who could be a potentially scary opponent. Hey, look, it's another Azumarill. That's going to be level 14 for Hitmon Liam. Look at that, 109, there it is! So now we can put Octo Ace at the front. And we'll double check on how the egg's doing as well. Let's go Octo Ace at the front. Tony, you're not holding an item, which means that you can hold that Sky Plate I just got to increase the power of your wing attack. Is anyone else not holding anything? Majesty, why don't you hold something? I mean, you haven't really got anything that, that's worth holding. Uh, I suppose I could give you a Chesto Berry. In fact, what I'm going to do, because because Hitmon Liam has quite powerful moves anyway. Wait, Cherry Berry is for Paralysis. Let's give you the Cherry Berry, right? Cool. And then I'm going to give the life orb to to you. Because being a bulkier Pokemon, you would benefit from having the life orb without me worrying about you being killed too quickly. Because Hitmonlium is quite fragile. That's the worry. Hello, sir. Whoa, what a surprise. Didn't expect to see anyone here. Well, well there you go. I mean, it's a cave. Connects two cities. I mean... Come on. Ooh! Articuno. Alright. So, we'll go for a try attack. You're going to use Mist. Oh, wait. That means I can't paralyze you or anything. Right? Doesn't it? Well, let's go with the Psy Beam then. Actually, you don't resist water, so I could just go with Stab Water type attacks. Let's do that. Water Gun. Powder Snow. It's not very effective. Water gun. We get healed by the leftovers. We're going to use Gust. Come on, Octo Ace, you need to take down this Articuno. Gust. Water gun. Oh, I'm a little bit scared, so I'm going to use a potion. Let's use. Yeah, let's use that. Okay, he's going to use Mist again? What an idiot. Water gun. So close. Powder Snow is not going to do a lot. Water Gun is going to complete this battle. An Octo Ace just took down an Articuno. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, you earned all that experience. Level 11. You going to level up again? No. Okay. <laughs> Ralph? What does Ralph want? Sir, this is Ralph. How are you? Yesterday, a wild Ampharos slipped away from me in front of my kid. I was feeling down about it until he shared his Pokeballs with me. It sure made my day. You caught your mum sometimes, too. 
All right. Hey, Mum. Hello. Oh, Liam, working hard. Oh, you're in Union Cave. Good luck on your Pokemon quest. By the way, you've saved up... <coughs> yeah, just save money. We've, we've saved up some money. That's fine. No biggie. Hello, Mr. Hiker Man. You're headed to Azalea, are you? Let my Pokemon see if you're good enough to battle. Sure. I mean, again, as I always say, you, you've not really given me the choice. Ooh, but you have shown up with a Shinx. That's a bit scary. Should we chance it? Should we chance it? Should we, uh... Should we Aurora Beam it? I think we can take out a Shinx. It's only level 4. Yep, that was easy. And we can heal up with the leftovers. That's an Sharpedo. Yeah, let's do it. Look at that scary thing. Let's try attack it. Boom. And it's down. Oh my god, Octoace, you are savage. Level 12. Get a bit of healing. I like it. That's an Infero. Do you know what? We can totally take down a Fero. Level 8. No worries. It's going to use Growl and lower our attack. We're a special attacker. We're going to use Aurora Beam. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Come on, one hit. Yeah, it was. Oh, good job, Octo Ace. Just really impressing me. Stupid person. I don't want to talk to you anymore, sir. Do we think there's a special item here? There's a Revival Herb in there! Wonderful! I, I mean, it's useless, because we can't use reviving items, but... Even so... Ooh, Gligar's not going to be a problem either, because that's four times weak to Aurora Beam. So we can just knock it flat out. Get to level 13. Octoace, you're ever going to learn any new moves? Okay, what are we against? A Dusclops. Alright, let's just water gun it. It's bulky, but it's dead. Okay, there's a, there's a guy there. He's going to want to fight. Zubat Super Sonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset about that. I mean, mate, I can't help you. I have nothing that can stop confusion, alright? So don't take it out on me. Look at you with your Yanma. Now, Yanma is part flying, which means it's weak to ice. Octo Ace is a savage killer. There we go. So what else you got for me? I wonder. Zigzagoon. Just, I mean, of all the Pokemon, I'm just going to use Aurora Beam again. It might not kill it, but... Oh, no, it killed it. Beautiful. Well done, sir. Well done. Get ourselves a white herb, you know? Love a bit of that herb. Uh, what's up this way? I assume there's an item on this side. Yeah. Like a star piece? Thank you very much. Okay, blitz through the battle with the whooper. Go for a water gun. Job done. We can fish here as well. Like that, We still haven't fished in this general area. I need to mark on the map as well. Not even a nibble. Come on, give me a nibble. Damn, okay. Um, yeah, I need to mark the poker gear. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, let's mark the poker gear. We didn't mark Dark Cave either. So yeah, mark with that because we've caught Pokemon on land. And then where's Dark Cave? Dark Cave, we caught a Pokemon because we caught our Empoleon there. We're doing fairly well. Hello there. Ooh. I roam far and wide in search of Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon too? Then you're my collecting rival. I mean, you can't just announce yourself as someone's rival. That's not how it works. Okay, Rapid Ash. We're just going to blitz this one. Water Gun. One more hit. Done. Octo Ace is level 14. Perfect. I just wanted to rush through that battle. 
Rapidash isn't exactly an exciting Pokemon to face. That's the exit to the tunnel, well, to the cave, so we should go the other way. Magnazone could be a problem, but I have the solution. Fagina. It used Supersonic, and we're confused. But we can Rock Smash it. And <laughs> it's dead. Just like that. Right. Let's head over to the other side of the cave, which isn't the exit. Aurora Beam. We're doing great. We're doing great with these random battles. Ooh, Electabuzz. Okay, that Thundershock was pretty scary. Octoise is level 15, my god. We're going this way. There's nothing down this way, so we need to just exit. Cherish Ball! Perfect. I mean, what are we going to do with a Cherish Ball? So we're on Route 33, so we can catch a Pokemon here. There are trainers we could face. Let's pop out some Apricorns. Uh, uh, here. Thank you. Should we talk to this goon and see if they'll uh, see if they'll battle us? I finally got through that cave. It was much bigger than I expected. I'm getting too tired to explore the whole thing. I came outside. Okay, let's catch a Pokemon. That's the plan. Route 33. I don't think we've caught anything. <laughs> it's a Prinplup. Okay. Um. All right. I'm gonna call Dupes Law on this. Okay. So. Even though we haven't caught a Prinplup before, we already have the evolved form of this Pokemon. So I'm not going to count that as an eligible encounter. I'm going to say that we can re-roll because that's that's just not fair. <laughs> I can't have a Prinplup and an Empoleon. That's much better. Oh my days. Uh, okay. How's going to be best to go about this? Let's go with a water gun. That was close. Okay, Sharpedo. I would like you to get in the ball. That's fine. Okay, let, let's catch it. I mean, that that's good. Should we throw a lure ball at it? No. Should we throw a cherish ball at it? Get in the cherish ball, you goon. Come on. Well, that was worth it. That was a very good bite. That was a very, very scary bite, if I'm honest. But let's go with more Pokeballs. We have five attempts. And we got it! We got Sharpedo. Beautiful. We've got quite an array of water types going on, though. The brutal Pokemon. It can swim at speeds of 75 miles per hour by jetting seawater through its body. It is the Bandit of the Sea. Give a nickname to the court, Sharpedo. Obviously, I'm going to call her what I call my Sharpedo that I used to use for battles online, which is called Nibbles, because she's so sweet. Lovely. Oh, well, that's a good result. Should we kick this guy's face off? I came through the cave, but I still have plenty of energy left. Mate, me too. I'm all set to break your face. Okay, Tamatia. She has a Rhyperia, one of the ugliest Pokemon I've ever seen. Close your mouth, you'll catch flies. Let's go for a four times effective water gun on the horrible, ugly mess that is Rhyperia. And down you go, you ugly piece of Rhyperia. Octo Ace, nearly leveling up. Oh, what are you sending in now? Beldum. Oh, we're fine with Beldum. I mean, with Beldum, we basically go Water Gun and knock it out. Well, it's going to knock itself out. There we go. Level 16 for Octo Ace. And Tamatia is dead. By the way, I'm a hiker. I often go into mountains and caves. I don't usually go into town. I bet you go all kinds of towns on your journey, don't you? No, if I were to trade phone numbers with you, would you exchange your information? Yes. Wonderful. That is absolutely paramount. Wonderful. Fantastic, sir. Thank you. So now we're in Azalea Town. Lovely. How's my egg doing? I didn't actually check on my egg. Doesn't seem close to hatching. What the hell kind of egg is this? 
Okay, that's not going to help. But this is where I'm going to save it for today, now that we're at Azalea Town. We'll go hang out with Kurt for a little bit, maybe, in the next episode. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hit like if you did, and of course, subscribe so you never miss an episode from me. But until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam. Keep on training.